So without the telescope or with what some people might call naked eyes, there's no way you can read that. Uh, I mean, you can zoom in on your own screen all you want. The camera simply does not have that resolution to have captured those letters. But with the use of telescope, you can barely read it. And that's uh, in one of the ways how we use telescope in astronomy and other places. So um, I have one more objective lens that I haven't tried. So let me just uh, uh, position this eyepiece and try that again. So the eyepiece is once again, right in front of the camera. Um, you see all the blurry stuff. That's kind of what you would see if you have a magnifying glass just right in front of your eye. Um, so so uh, just so that you have a point of comparison, this is the 300 millimeter focal length objective lens again. And I'm just gonna uh, put it somewhere here to look at um, the same letters again. Cobalt, uh, nickel, copper, and zinc. And then I'm gonna switch this out to a hundred millimeter focal length um, objective. And you are going to find that the magnification is much smaller. So the distance between the lenses that will make it work also changes. So this will be, this will come much closer to the eyepiece than the other lens was. So the overall area it covers will be larger, but um, okay. So it's about this distance where it all, uh, it forms a sharp image. Yeah, I, I don't think uh, I can really read it. Maybe if you took a screenshot and zoomed in, maybe you can read it, I don't know. Uh, one thing I will tell you that if you take a screenshot of this and compare the, um, the other one, the size of this image should be about one third of the other one because that's sort of how magnification formulas work out. Uh, 